ticked off everything. I'm actually getting my COVID vaccine. Let me hear everyone's opinion on this. Stress relief to do travel nursing because I don't know how it would be outside of California. Lighting is so bad. Hold on. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine, and I make all types of lifestyle vlogs. Today is the day before I'm back to work. Sadly, I wanted to take you guys along with me. It's a little bit later in the day, actually. It's like 1 p.m. right now. We, um, we went to church this morning. I got my workout in, but I want to take you along with me while I run my errands. I picked up some Starbucks as well because I needed a little bit of a pick me up um, this morning. I haven't gotten this in the longest time. I got the London Fog. But, so we have quite a few things to do today. So I got my workout in. Um, I'm gonna schedule some apartment tours. Um, I'm supposed to deposit my money to the bank, but the banks are closed on Sundays. I need to call my 401k. I need to return something to Amazon. And then I also need to pick up some lunch for tomorrow and buy some command hooks. I want to buy some more decor, so I might go to Hobby Lobby. Because now that I took most of my Christmas decorations out, I will, it looks a little bit bare and messy. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try and make it look a little bit better. I got a few things for work. I need to package some things so that I can return them to Amazon. The first thing on the agenda is to return and then pick up some salads and then go to Hobby Lobby. Come along today with me while I try and catch up with all my errands. up everybody i am um, i cleaned up my room a little bit basically all of that stuff on that bookshelf oh gosh okay so first off i am gonna go to trader joe's and kohl's to drop off my um return from amazon i have these like branches that i thought i was gonna use for my room but I'm not like the biggest fan of, so I'm gonna return them. So yeah, I'm gonna return these and then I'm gonna go ahead and go to um, Trader Joe's to pick up some salad for lunch tomorrow for work because those are the only salads that actually keep me full, especially for 12 hours. So I decided to just stick with, with my same old, same old. There is such a long ass line for Trader Joe's. All I need is two salads. Too bad they don't have curbside pickup. I feel like that'd be so much more convenient, but whatever. I will just pick it up really quickly. Um, I think I'm gonna go to Kohl's first, actually, to return my thing. There are so many people here. It is so busy, but like, they're really efficient there. So I got my two salads that you guys saw, and then I got this ginger aid. Um, my friend Alice got me this whenever I had COVID, and it's really good, and I feel like it tastes like soda. Um, peanut butter filled pretzels. So I got those. I'm gonna go, there's a Walmart nearby, so I'm gonna go to Walmart to pick up some command hooks. So my plan for those is that I hang my necklaces like this one and I'm just going to attach them to the little um, bookshelf that I have. I'll show you. It doesn't make sense when I say it, but when I show you it'll make more sense. Hopefully it doesn't look too ugly. I made a detour to Bath and Body Works. Oh, there's still a long ass line. <laughs> So these are like twelve fifty. I think I'm gonna get one for me and one for Alex. I might need another bag though. Holy crap! That took so freaking long. It took me an hour just to get in. It took me like fifteen minutes to get the stuff, but I only shopped within the seventy-five percent section. Their candles are twelve fifty each, or twelve twenty-five. Um, so I got one for Alex, and then I got one for me. Mainly lotions because of the fact that, you know, I really like the smell. And then I keep one inside my my work bag because my hands get so dry because of work. So 
I'm gonna keep, I got these little ones for like $1.50. I'm gonna give one to Alex too, because he really likes the stress relief scent. And then he likes this stress relief. And then these ones were like $3.50, I think. Um, it wasn't like an amazing price, but this one's very mild. But I like that it's like a shea butter. I don't know, I really like the scent of these. I think this one I'm gonna keep at home. It smells just like fresh. That's what I really like. So this one's like $187. I don't even know if you can see it. 187 and then these ones are like $1.62. I just need to like disperse them everywhere just because I constantly need lotion all the time. The only thing left to do today is for me to just pick up my, the command hooks. That's and then I need to go home because I've been out for freaking a long time. I'm going to go pick up from Walmart and then I'm going to go Maybe home. Maybe this one. I think this one looks better. The thing is like this one. How is this one going to hang on these little ass? I also found these really cheap under scrubs. They're like $8. And then the one that I bought from Uniqlo is like $16. So I was like, damn, I'll just buy them from here from now on. Look at freaking cheap underscrub things. Only $8 each. I've been buying them from Uniqlo for like 15 bucks. I feel kind of ripped off now. I also got some gum because I always, always chew gum before my shift or even when it's nearing the end and I get tired. Then I also got these command hooks because I'm gonna hang up my jewelry. I hope that this can hold this because this jewelry is like really heavy and if it's not, then I'll just not hang it, I guess. I just bought a bunch of stuff for work, like my lotion, my um, under scrubs, my gum. So my outfit is this beanie, this under neck thing. And then the chain, and then the shirt I got from Cotton On, and some jeans. So my outfit is this beanie, this under neck thing, and then the chain, and then the shirt I got from Cotton On, and some jeans. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hang my necklaces like right here. This looks so much better. I initially had it all like clumped up in here and I never would be able to see it. I'm like so much happier with it being hung up here. I don't know how it looks. From here it's like very subtle. I was initially gonna buy like an organizer but I think this works way better. Right here, how cute. 10 out of 10 recommend if you have like a bunch of jewelry. What's up everybody? It's a little while later. I have eaten my dinner and ready for the night. 6.15 p.m. I've organized my jewelry. Um, kind of gotten everything ready for work. Basically all my errands are centered around my work today. I like bought lotion for my hands, gum for whenever I'm like at work and then a bunch of under scrubs which I also left in my car. Let me grab them so I can show you. Hold on. So I if I'm breathing hard it's because I just ran up the stairs. Athletic shirts that I'm gonna wear underneath my scrubs. Dollars for this? I've been paying fifteen dollars for my Uniqlo one. We'll try these out since they're like half the price. So I'm gonna turn on my heater because I'm like freezing to death here. Gotten a heater for this winter. A 10 out of 10 recommend this one. It's linked down below in my Amazon shop. And then this heated blanket is what Alex got me. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna wear this one. And then this gray bottom thing is my Uniqlo one that I got from the mall. And it's like super thick compared to the Walmart one. And then these are my fit scrubs. I have a code. I actually use my own code to buy Another pair of these because these are my favorite scrubs and I was actually gifted by um, Fit Scrubs. I'm going to link my code right here. It's going to be Jazz15. Then some socks and then I need a scrub cap. I think I'll use this one. So we'll do a blue day. Blue because it's Monday. I also never showed you guys what I did with this area. So what I did was I put this, this used to be all the way down here, so I kind of just switched everything around. This used to be on the top, this used to be in the middle, so I like moved everything just to get it 
you know, different look. I should move this up a little bit, but I got this thing from TJ Maxx. I put these string lights that don't have any batteries. Um, shout out to my cousin who got me these little cute succulents. I put them right over there. Um, I made this little collage thing when I graduated from nursing school. Some plants, my jewelry. I am obsessed with the way this turned out. I love that. Because it's like, you can't even see it from here, but if you like look this way, you can see them really, really organized. I love that. Um, and then this portion is just really basic. It's just my initial, some books, and then the vinyl Alex gave me. And then we also have this hard vinyl that I bought for like $8. This week I'm working four days. I'm working Monday, Tuesday, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So kind of a lot for the next few days, but it's whatever because there's an incentive pay. Kind of a lot of days, but it's crazy to think that so many of you had commented down below saying that you have like nine patients at a time. And I know that in our hospital, um, there's a couple nurses who have like six patients at a time. I know specifically like ICO is the ICU unit is push three to one. Um, we, ours just varies depending on the patients. The, I think the highest we have is med surge, which is six to one. And they're normally four to one. But I know that in other states, you guys don't have the privilege of having ratios, which is like crazy. That's why I never really wanted to do travel nursing because I don't know how it would be outside of California because California does have ratios except for now when Gavin wrote them off which is insane yeah so I hope you guys are staying safe always keep in mind that your license is super important there's gonna be a lot of times that they're gonna say oh it's a pandemic the thing is you shouldn't be pushing outside your scope of practice be really careful especially with everything going on I know it's easy to get distracted and to think that be very cautious and vigilant with everything going on because I know it's easy to get caught up and you're just like running around doing thing after thing just be careful with your license you never know I also need to pay my toll road if you saw on the vlogmas videos but I had actually gotten lost on my very first day and I went on the toll road and I need to pay that ticket obviously never use the toll road ever there's no reason for me to Alex does have the toll road but I personally don't need that because I don't drive more than like 30 minutes <sighs> So that's the only thing, but we basically checked off everything. Ticked off everything except for depositing money. Um, I actually learned that you can deposit money um, to through the Chase ATM, but I prefer not to, so I'm not gonna do that. I could technically do it right now, but I'm too tired to get out of the house anymore. And then the only other thing was to call my 401k, but Alex actually set up my 401k for me, thank God. Because I was supposed to do that a long time ago, but I'm not very good with that financial kind of stuff. Side note, Alex is actually going to start a YouTube channel. Um, if you've been here long enough to know that Alex and I started this channel together, shout out to you because you're literally the OG. Um, we kind of parted ways in the channel. Um, I would say probably when Alex and I stopped going to school together. So, yeah, Alex is going to start to do YouTube again because, honestly, Alex is the one who told me to start YouTube. I personally never wanted to do, well, I never felt comfortable in front of the camera, I guess. I really loved the idea of, let me hang this. Look, this is so cute. But I love the idea of editing. And I used to be really creative with my editing and piecing together a story and the idea of that kind of thing. But nowadays I'm just so freaking lazy. Just kind of string together my vlog of my day or whatnot. I think what I've learned is like, I really like talking to you guys. I think it's just, I learn so much from you. I know there's so many people that say that they learn so much from me, but I learn so much from you guys. Cause you guys, you guys know it's super, super interesting to me to learn from you guys and to hear your experiences and it makes us feel like a sense of community especially during this time where we're supposed to be like socially distancing that doesn't necessarily mean that you lose connections with other people exciting things are happening 
am actually getting my COVID vaccine. I hear everyone's opinion on this because I've done my research on it and they said you have immunity 90 days after you've gotten COVID and recovered from it. Um, so technically you should get the vaccine 90 days after. But I called my um, facility and they told me as long as you, it's 14 days after the positive test, you should be, oh my God, you should be okay to get the vaccine. So I scheduled myself for January 6th to get the COVID vaccine for the first dose. I don't really know. I'm, I'm thinking maybe I should wait until I get a negative test, but I talked to my doctor and she's like, no, we don't need another test for you to get the vaccine. You can get it whenever you want. And I was like, I don't really know. And I also wanted to talk about that because a lot of people think that, oh no, I'm going to get the vaccine after I have kids. It, I was scared of that too because I was like, oh, what if I ever want to have kids later on? What if it's going to mess with um, my fertility? It doesn't. It's an mRNA. I'm not that good with bio and all that stuff, even though I was a bio major in UCR. Shout out to you if you knew that because that was a long ass time ago. But Alex knows a lot about bio. He like taught bio. Kind of explained it to me more. I trust in science. I trust that even though it seems like it's only been a few months, I think the main reason why we have such delay in our vaccines getting out to the public is mainly because of the fact that we need to get the financial um, factors in order, the supplies, and because everything's expedited because obviously this is like a worldwide pandemic and an emergency, everything got pushed forward. We've gone through cl clinical trials, it's been FDA approved, I trust it, and even though it's still kind of scary that we don't know the long-term side effects, this is for the greater good and for everyone to get herd immunity and for us to go about 2021 with the hope that it will be better and hopefully that the, this whole thing dies down. So if you guys, I know you guys do have the option because a lot of you are nurses, nursing students, CNAs, paramedics, and such. You guys have the option. I, I would strongly recommend to do your research and to consider getting the vaccine if you are offered it because that's, I was obviously really scared to get it at first, but now I really think that it's important to get it because even though I got COVID already, um, it only helps you for 90 days. And then after that, you can get this new strain, which is literally like 20 times more infectious. I'm gonna go to bed now. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm finally done talking. Um, if you guys have any comments about the COVID vaccine, anything that you've learned, shoot it down in the comments down below because I am still constantly learning more about it and I think it would be helpful for everyone to learn more about it and to hopefully kind of veer them towards getting the vaccine. Um, but that's gonna be it for today's vlog. If you guys haven't already followed me on my social media, I recommend it. It's gonna be at Jasmine Nurse on TikTok, Instagram, and my Snapchat is Jasmine underscore Manatee. But that's gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next vlog.